Let me get my family's reaction about this build. Go. Three, two, one. Nice! Ooh, it's nice! Yeah? Yeah! Look at the other side. <laughs> Whoa! What? I'm surprised right now. I'm like. My body is like exploding. <laughs> That's cool, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's show mommy. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Yeah. And I surprise myself every time. Yeah. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh, that looks so cool. You like it, Mama? Yeah. Yeah? That looks <laughs> cool. Yeah. It, it looks like it's actually going down. Yeah. That looks so cool. I'm going to test it. Just don't. It's hot. It's fire, Mama. It's ah, fire. Look. You like it? You like it? You like it, Janet? Did Daddy do good? Yeah. All right. High five. Daddy do good? Yeah. yeah. All right. Now I'm just waiting to see what my mom says. That looks really good. Go inside and tell her. Okay. Now my babe's out here. The tough judge. She'll say if it's shitty or not. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh wow, that actually looks really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the other side. The other side looks cool because it looks like big old chunks of like burning. Wow. This is the part that's going to be showing on this side. That's actually really cool. Good job, honey. <laughs> I like it. That's really cool. Yeah, you impressed me. I want it brighter though. Should have drilled holes in the zom in the skull's eyes. Yeah, I can do it. Not right now, but I want to put it out there already. Yeah. That, no, it looks really cool. I like it. Oh. Good job. Okay. Thank you. High five. <laughs> What's up everybody, Raul back with another video and today we're going to be building a burning fire pit for a Halloween prop outside, so stay tuned. Alright everybody, here's a few items you're going to be needing for this project and a lot of these are optional, you can change this as needed, but this is the way I'm going to do it. So I got some ash right here from the fireplace in our home, also you're going to need some great stuff. Uh, gaps and cracks, filler, expanding foam, spray paint of choice. I'm using flat black and regal red. It's a glossy red. Also some painter's trace, plastic clear, a bag of bones, and also some string lights. This light is optional. Um, the reason I say this is optional is because I'm going to get a electric cord socket adapter for this and basically run it through the bottom of this this is why I'm going to use this spray the foam all over it have an entrance over here so I could feed the lights under because if you see a lot of these props being made they basically lay the lights out spray the foam on top and then what happens when the lights burn out exactly so what I'm going to do is make it so I can change the lights play with it and make it how I want it so the other other th the other thing that I want to mention is the reason why I want to play with the socket light is because I'm thinking of putting a flickering flame bulb in there and then also with the orange string lights give it more of a fire burning effect and we'll go from there so these are the items you will need these are optional if you want to change it up for yourself so let's get to it Another thing I want to mention is you're going to need some masking paper, construction paper, a uh, piece of wood, something to lay at the bottom. I choose to use this because hopefully once everything dries out, I can go on the bottom, rip this out, poke holes or whatever, and then I'll be able to have an entrance point for my lighting and be able to play with it a lot better. So this is what I'm going to use. Hopefully it works out as planned. Haven't seen it built this way. 
but I'm gonna build it this way and cross my fingers that it's not a fail. So let's get started. I'm gonna have enough. Oh man. I should have told you to get three. Uh, I should have listened to you, dude. It's alright. and we're out. It looks like you're making... Oh, look, someone's coming out. Why? It looks so soft. It looks like you're hey, making look. a cake. Walking around the looks, we can read. read. Oh, when I walk, the word I want. It looks like it's cake there. Oh, they look. You know, what's no, on no, the table? Just don't touch it. Just don't touch it. I touch it. Ooh. All right, everybody. So the way I plan on doing this, I had bought two cans. My son told me to buy more, but I thought two would be enough because it expands. My fault for not listening. So now I got to go to the store, pick up a couple more cans, and then come back, finish this up. I also added some paper off to the sides here because I kind of wanted to go at an awkward shape. So let's pick up the cans and then get back on track. You guys are getting the leaves? Yeah. yeah. All right. We need it for our burning bodies. <laughs> Burn. All right. Bring them, Janet. Good job. We'll put them on a little pile. The leaves right here. Good job. Okay. Uh, a few more. So while we wait for my wife to bring some more cans of the expanding foam because I ran out, I'm having the kids pick up some debris to put into our burning display. So we got some leaves, some sticks, um, some pieces of wood, also some rubber mulch to throw in there as well as sprinkle on some of the ash and the burning wood that we have. Okay, that's good, you guys. Find me a, a few more sticks. A few more sticks? I got more. Yeah, so we can make this look a, a lot more realistic here. Good job, Maria. Yeah. So more sticks. Okay, more sticks. More sticks, more sticks, more sticks. Okay. More sticks, more sticks. Yeah. yeah. All right, look at that. We've got ourselves a good pile. Good job, you guys. Nice. And thank you for the expanding foam. Oh, duh. <laughs> Our savior here, because yeah. we're dry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, let's get back to making our body cake. We're going to have a Is nice Is it going to be chocolate? I like chocolate. Yeah, it'll be whatever flavor you want. It'll be red velvet. <laughs> yeah, yes. red velvet. All right, everybody, we got everything. Velvet. Let's get started.
How does it look, Janet? Good. Yeah, okay. Look, that's a nut. Yeah, just don't touch it, okay? Okay. Like that, or should I have her laying down, or? Um, like this, huh? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. You think so? Maybe laying down. Like this? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Uh <laughs> Crunch it up and throw it. Crunch it, crunch it. Yes. Throw it. Give it a little sprinkle. Okay. Put it like salty. That. Good job, you guys. <laughs> Looking good. Instead of saying salty, you say leafy. It's so leafy. And then the thing with these leaves is they're going <laughs> to start to brown out even more, you know? And then I leave these because I'm going to put these on after I paint. Creativity 
could be in a, in a party city. Oh, right, Mia? So, yeah. yeah. Creating props? Yeah. yeah. Maybe someone will see this and hire me. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. For horror movies. My yeah. favorite. Nice. That's how some people get spotted. Somebody comes across somebody's channel on accident. Ooh, I like what he made. His creativity. Like this. I had something planned. And then I scratched it all out. Because I was... As I was building, I was like, you know what? I found a better way. And then I ended up going this way. And look, look how it turned out. Boom. Sometimes what you think is good, sometimes isn't good. You get it? Yeah, I get it. It can be good. It can be good. Of course. Just touch up the little sections that fell off, put the lights on it, test it, put it outside, and another one, a success. Alright everybody, stay tuned. Alright everybody, so basically this is exactly where the lights are going to lay. And that's what's gonna illuminate through this. So if you can see all these little sections, that's where the light's actually gonna travel through. What's up everybody? So this is the final product and I just wanna talk to you about it a little bit. Now, I went into this project having some sort of idea about what I was going to do then I had to scratch all that because then I thought of something else that was going to be better while I was in the process of doing the project which luckily I wasn't too far into it where I would have had to throw a lot of stuff away which was good because I didn't have to get rid of anything the only thing I kind of did different was use the paint roller protectors like the painter's trace versus using some sort of tunnel that I was going to use out of two liters so I didn't go that route and then also making it into a awkward shape versus a square shape um, that happened after I ran out of the um, expanding foam but basically what I want to tell you guys here is I hit it with the flat black, I hit it with the browns, I also went with the bones of fingers and the wood like here and I did that brush technique with the rag and using silver paint and that's only just so you can get more detail out of the bones that I placed in there. I did put some leaves after with some adhesive and did glue in some um, dirt well not dirt but basically ash from the fireplace and then I went over the teeth and the inside of the nose around the eyes with a little bit of red and silver and I stuck some sticks in different places also you'll see here where I brushed the burnt wood 
now let me head over here and then show you um, all the little details I did to the bones just so they stick out here's a little bit picture a little bit better picture of the wood the sticks now the kids did help me with that they found all the little materials for me while we were waiting for the other expanding foam bottles but this is the other part that I want to show you guys originally I was gonna make a tunnel but it wasn't gonna work out as planned as I was thinking about it when I was already starting to do the project so luckily I was doing some projects in the house painting the rooms and remodeling and I had some paint painters trays for your brush rollers and they had a, so happened to be clear so I was like let me lay these out and use that as the same thing I was gonna do basically with the two liters except I'm gonna have more range of coverage with the trays so let me show you now what I mean there you have it so now I can place lights anywhere I want as far out as I can and it's gonna come through really nice so that's the really good thing about it because like I said I'm gonna put strands of lights under here and then I'm also gonna try those flickering light bulbs that are screwed in but I'm gonna have to hit that with a different approach because I'm not gonna leave an open socket and a light bulb just sitting on the lawn so I'll probably prop that up in little sections maybe in the higher parts of the corner because the trays go like this so I'll probably prop this up a little bit so that way at the bottom you'll get a little bit of a glow coming under this which that'll also be cool so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this project up and put the lights on and put this outside but I just want to let you guys know this is the final product it is completely done and this is the burning pit Halloween prop for outside so if you guys have any questions feel free to go ahead and ask me I'll do my best to answer them all the best I can I just went this route because this is going to be a reusable prop for me I just wanted something more well constructed I guess so I went ahead and did this with the painters trays I already put some light through it with my phone and it looks really good so let me go ahead and install these lights and then I'll give you the final look of this product. Alright everybody, I hope you find this video useful. And if you end up making one of your own, send me a message. I would love to check it out. Send me some pictures. This is why I make this video so others can do the same. Because that's what we're all out there to do, is to help one another make a spooky house and make your neighborhood great again. Alright everybody, happy Halloween 2020. If you haven't seen the rest of my DIY project builds for my Halloween setup, please do so. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.
everybody that concludes my video if you don't believe me that it looks good then maybe you can step right up and check it out peace